people might go to hell not because they did not believe in Jesus, but because they did not manage what God gave them. Poverty is a mentality. The rich will take your money always. We all start life with the same amount of time. What you do with your investment will determine who will bow down to you tomorrow. You get money. What do you do with money? You buy a car instead of buying land. You want car that to make people clap for you. You account for it. You should understand that the talent he gave was also his talent. The ability is yours, but the talent is his. And if somebody gives you a thing, you should know that you will account for it one day. Your talent determines where you become an ambassador. You don't speak French. Why would they take you to a French country? To do what? To get another translator and be paid? No. Then when I get there, I will learn. If you are standing in and somebody can speak the language and both of you have the same CV, then one can speak will be appointed and you will not be appointed. Why? Because you don't have the ability. People come to me because they know what I can do. People also come to you because they know what you can do. So note, people who come to you is based on what you are using your ability for. In Luke 19, he said, And he said unto well done, good servant, because you have been faithful in very little, have authority over ten cities. How many cities will you get? What did you do with your gift of law? What did you do with your gift of medicine? What did you give of gift of counseling? What did you do with your gift of giving, helping people? If you don't use the gift God gave you, you will punish you. One of the guys went to God and said, like, uh, you know that uh, you are a wicked man. You like to reap where you have not sown. You, God, you gave me only one talent. Look at me. God, you see, everybody can speak English well. Only when I speak English, I just do R and L problem. I mean, everybody can slap at me. So I decided that me, I don't even talk at all. God called them and said, you are a wicked and a lazy servant. I will take what I gave you and give it to the one who is faithful. Why then did you not put my money into the bank? That at my coming, am I collected with interest? And he said to those who stood by, take the men out from him and give it to him who has 10 minutes. God would take the things he has given to people and give it to others who are society. The rich are becoming rich and the poor is becoming poor. Yes, let me tell you, if God brings you your gift and it is still the same way it gave to you, you will go to hell. He took the one talent and put it under a neck pin. At least, I don't want anything to happen to it. This is your gift. This is what you gave me. You gave me one. As it is, I bring it. Yes, the one that he gave five ended up as I have ten. Hundred percent results. The one he gave two said I have four. The one he gave ten said I have twenty. Hundred percent result. Anybody who is not improving on what he has been given is doing the service to God's kingdom. Every time you realize that you are not improving on what God has given you, you are a failure. And that is why sometimes I tell you that all believers are more successful than believers because they improve, they will learn, they will go to school, they will do this. And somebody says, down, God has called me. You are a child mountain to do what? And my headache is that people might go to hell not because they did not believe in Jesus, but because they did not manage what God gives them. Occupy. Keep doing what you have to do. Before he comes, let nothing stop you.